Hello and welcome to yet another photo shoot video and we're here in Bangkok um, with Maria. Uh, yeah. She's a really talented model here in Bangkok and um, today it's just going to be a simple street shoot, kind of urban theme um, along this really nice bridge that we found and also another nice green bridge as well. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. <laughs> <laughs> So I think for the first um, few shots, it's just going to be like a general um, centered shot, just kind of in the center of the bridge and also like half body shot. Okay. And then we'll just make our way to like full body shots and then slowly kind of leaning against the... Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. First start with the uh, half body. So for this shoot, I'll be using two setups as usual. The first one is the R5 with the 28-70 f2, shooting at mainly at f2, and then the 85-1.2 on the R6, shooting again mainly at the widest aperture of 1.2. And for this first location, it's actually not the main location. We just stumble upon this particular bridge that I thought might be actually a nice starting point before going to the second bridge. That's actually the main star of the show. But even then, this bridge has a very nice architecture to it. It has a very nice kind of industrial style to it that I really like apart from the Christmas decorations that they still have to take down but the first lesson that I want to tell you right away is always watch out for the lines because even though I realized that the ground color line that separates between yellow and gray wasn't exactly in the middle but I totally underestimated how much impact it would have on my framing that I would have to try to compromise and frame it in such a way where everything would look you know not so symmetrical trading that in just to make the image look a little bit more balanced and as you guys requested this so many times I will be showing more final selections of the images by the end of each shooting sections and yeah it's great could you maybe scoot just a tiny bit to the side too too much just just come back a little yeah around there sorry all right yeah yeah, keep the stare, I like that. Yeah. Yes, that's nice. Yeah. Let me just change the lens, but I really like the stare, like the ones when you actually stare into the camera. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's really nice. Yeah. Um, could you redo like a pose? You did this pose in the beginning where you can just kind of like um, swing your hair. But then like, yeah, kind of like that, but without the hand, the, both hands were still, yeah, around that area, but then you kind of, yeah. Okay. All right, three, two, one. <laughs> okay, okay, sorry. Three, two, one. Yeah, yeah. No, just like the emotion, like the stare right after the hair, just, okay. yeah, just, just one more. Three, two, one. Yeah, that's great, That that's really nice. <laughs> <laughs> Can we do like um, the one that's where you kind of like lean onto the rail just on the side? Yeah, right. actually, still use this one. Yeah. <laughs> This one I'll just see, like, I'm seeing until, like, around this area, so... No, no, like, um, my framing, it's until here, but your pose is nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. And here, another lesson that I learned is try not to have a lot of information on the screen. What I mean by that is 
at this stage I actually have a lot of information on whether it's the histogram sometimes but definitely most of the time the leveling the electronic leveling all together with the format of file I'm shooting in the settings the picture styles and everything the settings and the values that attributes to the actual camera settings for the pictures are definitely crucial but sometimes the electronic leveling can be misleading in the way that like you want the image to be balanced but because the lines aren't balanced and I'm shooting from a certain angle having a balanced image according to the actual electronic leveling can be misleading and you'll see in my final results that my images from this particular section definitely aren't well balanced. thinking like do you mind getting um your jeans a bit dirty no okay um there's another sitting pose um it's another cliche one but like it's a sitting pose where you just kind of like um crossing not crossing your legs but like when your knees is up and you're like hugging your knee kind of yeah that kind of pose yeah like yeah both plates or just one? um do one first and then the second we will do both yeah Yeah, that's great. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's great. I also like how the wind is um, blowing your hair a little bit. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> yeah, I think we can move to the green bridge. Just like a simple, again, just like a simple half body, um, uh, just a simple stare into the camera, maybe just cross your arm a little bit, mm -hmm. but yeah, just a stare into the uh, camera with the... Yeah, just, yeah, right around there. Just starting with half body first. Yeah, that's great. I'm also waiting for a little bit of like gust of wind to hit your hair. Yeah, I'm gonna be seeing your full body. Yeah, yeah that's great. Um, I was thinking, would it be okay to maybe like um, sit over here? If I can clear the flowers. <laughs> I don't mind. Oh, okay. Anything Just kind of like <laughs> sit and lean against the pole. Yeah, that kind of look. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let me know if you're not comfortable, yeah? That's great. I quite like it. That's good. Um, both is fine, like, okay. um, yeah. Because sometimes smile also, also actually adds quite a nice character as well. Yeah. Let me show you some of the uh, images. Oops, sorry. Oh, wow. <laughs> I, I love those, I love those. Could we do another one like this? But like, um, I would be shooting from around this level. 
I just want to see. <laughs> just want to see how it'd be like. Just have to use the other lens. Sorry. Oop. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Um, this is also another cliche shot, but you know one of those poses where like you're kind of like pointing to the lens? Uh, it's just yeah, just that. I'll be focusing on your eyes now and your fingers can be blurry. Or like kind of like blocking the sun even though there's no sun here, but yeah. <laughs> there is a little bit. Oh yeah, over there. Then let me change Wait, to this. This way? Yeah. Actually this way. Uh, the other hand, but yeah, just kind of Yeah. Let me focus on your eyes first. Uh okay. Cool. Yeah. Okay, maybe it wasn't so successful as your other. My eyes are like closing slowly. Okay, this um, staircase. Kind of like this urban cool street where you can just like on a higher level of the staircase and just one leg on one lower level and just kind of look down into the camera like sitting, oh, sitting. <laughs> yeah no no that, that was perfect actually yeah yeah so using this one and <laughs> should we just adjust a little bit now it's a little bit like this how would you like it to look? no right now it's just um, been blown by the wind quite a quite a bit <laughs> okay. Oh my. Now it's pin string. <laughs> yes. Okay. Actually, a bit more to the center. Just, yeah, around there. That's great. It's nice. Actually, the center pose doesn't really work a lot if you just kind of like move and lean to one side because there's like this bike lane and it doesn't make it symmetrical, if that makes sense. Yeah, that's great. It looks, well, it is backlit, but um, I'll adjust it in post. <laughs> if that makes sense. Yeah. I just kind of like the vibe of um, looking mysterious and also looking kind of cool. So before we had like a very subtle um, look, but this is kind of like a very cool looking down kind of look. Yeah. Yeah, I like it better th like this. We do a bit tighter. Yeah, that's good. Actually, I was thinking, what if I were to be shooting from above and looking down? Like, if, if I would go. Just, you would like me to <laughs> <laughs> Just kind of like, still sitting oh. and... Um, yeah, just kind of look up. Into the camera. Are you okay? Yeah, it's sunny. Yeah, let me know when it's a bit too much. May I just move your bag yeah, slightly? Yeah. Sorry. I'll just take it up a little. <laughs> One second.
Yeah, this is great. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, maybe like a, a stand-up pose would be better then. Yeah. And just let him pass first. Just kind of, yeah, lean against. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Okay. Yeah. I think we have it. Would it be okay like just to have like a little um, half body shoot where you can just kind of like either lean against or just kind of like play around and look around it's just kind of like that mysterious look again yeah that's great yeah that's great Actually, could you move a little bit to the side? It's <laughs> great. Thank you. Yeah. No, oh, that's great. Could you also have the other arm on the hour? Uh, yeah, that's great. Then I can just do a proper half body. Could you adjust your hair while looking to the camera? Yeah. Yeah, that's great. No, yeah, that's great. Just one more time. Yeah, great. So yeah, that was it for this photo shoot. It was actually a really random photo shoot, but um, I really like this location and Maria was really nice and she's a really talented model. I didn't really have to really um, instruct her a lot. She just know the pose and everything. So yeah, what did you think about this shoot? I had a lot of fun. I, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, me too actually, it's, it's quite nice. And uh, yeah, as Bangkok traffic is getting louder, I would like to just end it here. If you need a free photography guidebook, it's absolutely for free on my website. Just click the link down in the description section below. And if you want to share anything, any, if you have any suggestions, any questions, feel free to also comment down in the uh, comment section below. Otherwise, I thank you all very much for watching. Stay safe, have fun shooting. Till next time, bye for now. <laughs> Thank you.